Hey, what's up YouTube? You're watching Ready, Set, Drone, and today we're gonna to take a look at the Tiny Hawk 2 from Emacs. It came out in December, and it's pretty awesome, so stay tuned and we'll check it out. So the Tiny Hawk 2 is the next evolution of the Tiny Hawk series that came from Emacs. Emacs put out the original Tiny Hawk a couple of years ago, the Tiny Hawk S last year, which is this one, and then the Tiny Hawk 2 in December of 2019. This guy is improved over the S in a couple of ways. The frame is beefier and stronger, more reinforced, it has bigger, more powerful motors. It has uh, the ability, just like the Tiny Hawk S, to do 1S or 2S battery but it also has a run cam, which is a better camera that gives you more uh, color and a better picture, plus the ability to adjust the transmitter from 25 milliwatts to 100 milliwatts to 200 milliwatts if you unlock it. Now, in order to actually use that feature, you have to unlock the uh, transmitter, which you do by pushing a little button right here in the back of this thing. There's a tiny little button that you push while you uh, plug it in and that unlocks a transmitter. It does two things. It gives you more channels, more bands to, to use with your uh, goggles and also allows you to adjust the uh, different uh, milliwatts for, from 25 to 100 to 200. Now two questions you may be asking. Why do you have to unlock it and why not just make it 200 all the time? Uh, the first question why you have to unlock it is because in some countries the transmission at 200 milliwatts is actually illegal for uh, communications reasons. Like in the US, it'd be the FCC. So they make you unlock it based on the laws within your country. The second reason that you uh, would have the adjustable um, transmission from the VTX, which is the video transmitter, is that if you are racing with other people and you're both running 200 milliwatts, they're gonna tend to interfere with each other a bit more or if you have a whole bunch of people racing these, you really wanna keep it at the 25 milliwatt level because there's less interference and in, in, uh, crosstalk between the tr video transmissions. And so you'll, everyone will get a better picture versus if everybody was running 200 or 100, you'd be getting uh, kind of interference all over the place. So that's really the big reason that you have the adjustable. Um, I've flown it at 25 milliwatts indoors and it's been just fine. So I haven't had any problems with it at all at that level. Today I'm actually going to fly it indoors around my house and through the back uh, porch, uh, through the screen door, out to the backyard and just sit right here the whole time, which is kind of cool. It's a nice day. It's a little cool outside, but I've got the window or the door open, so I should be able to fly through and have some fun with it. Now this quad comes with four spare props as well as a charger that allows you to charge both the 1S battery and the 2S battery that comes with it. But I've heard a lot of people say in the case of a Tiny Whoop, a 1S battery is just fine. And that's what I've been flying it with primarily here is a 1S battery and I haven't had any trouble with it. You get about four minutes of flight time out of it, maybe closer to five, depending on how far you run the battery down. You actually don't wanna run the battery down to 0%, you know, to the point at which it just drops out of the sky. It's bad for the cells in the battery, but you can set it up to have a warning light that comes on that tells you um, in your goggles when the battery's getting low. One other thing that I really like about this guy is the fact that it has these little rubber bands that hold the battery in. They're, it comes with a spare set of them, but they're super easy. If you put the battery in the wrong way, it's easy to just flip it over like that. I had it in the right way to begin with, so I have to flip it back. But it makes it really easy to adjust where the battery is. I imagine at some point they will wear out, but right now they're doing pretty well. I also like the LEDs in this thing. They're uh, pretty cool looking. You can't see them too well at the moment. But, um, but during the evening, or if it's darker in the house, you can see them really well. And then the camera has a very, very, uh, it's very easy to adjust um, up and down. Okay, so real quick, let me see if I can show you how to unlock the uh, additional transmitter options, video transmitter, meaning the ability to turn it to a higher uh, milliwatt, as well as to um, have more channels. So the way you do it, and it's a little tricky with one person, um, is you get this kind of here ready to go, meaning that the battery is close to um, being inserted, but not inserted. Oh, and then you have to be careful not to accidentally insert it. And then the button is right down in here. It's, it's right in the center, it's black, and you can feel it if you push it with the screwdriver, you can feel it kind of give and push in. So there it is, pushed in. 
So now that I've done that, I have the ability to switch it between 25, 100, and 200 milliwatts for the transmission power on the uh, video transmitter, as well as have the additional uh, bands that give you more racing bands if you're flying with other people, that's especially important. I also, real quick, wanna show you where the bind switch is on this thing. So this is the bind button right here. And again, you probably could reach it without taking that cover off. It's just easier with the cover off. It's just this little guy that is, if you were, uh, if, it, if the lens was facing away from you, the lens of the camera is facing away from you, it's on the front left side, I believe. Yeah. So front right if the lens is, or the side closest to you on the right if the lens is facing you. And you can feel it give as you hold it down. Now you just hold it down while your radio is in bind mode. You hold it down, put the battery in and then you let go of it, and then it should bind. Okay, after a few small setbacks, I finally got everything going. I've got the DVR recording in here. I can see the picture really well, and we're gonna take it for a spin around the house. I'll bring my throttle all the way to zero so that I can arm it. Hawk 2, a great little FPV, tiny whoop style drone that you can fly indoors or out depending on the wind with 1S or 2S batteries and the improved uh, performance of the run cam is really nice and noticeable. If you like this video, I hope you'll leave a comment below and I hope you'll subscribe to Ready, Set, Drone. I've got a link to uh, buy this thing from Emacs if you want to check out the pricing and how much it is. As I said, I think you can get it as a ready to fly kit or you can buy it by itself. Go check out the link and you can see. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe to Ready, Set, Drone. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.